artist life, I mean, it's, it's so multifaceted. Like, you have poetry, you have music, you have fashion, you have you have painters, you have body painters, you have geographical landscapes that are art. Like, like it, it's so many it's levels. Art is expression. Um, people can use um, paintings, people use drawings, people use music. Um, they're just different things that art allows people to express themselves. Um, it, it's genuine, it's very heartfelt, it's very passionate, and that's one of the things that I like about art. I love going to spoken word events and hearing local talent, um, different things like that. When I hear the word art, I think of more than just like a certain term. It's really a, a feeling, an emotion, something that can be an inspiration. Art is really life, it's all around us. It's everything we come in contact with. You know, it's for me, it's how I solve problems. Art is my life, it's my gateway away from my stress and my troubles. It just allows me to express myself in other ways that I probably wouldn't be able to. Um, creativity. You know, you, you as an as an artist, um, you have to be able to create, and when creating, you have opportunities to showcase talents that you know people may not even understand because it's just so beyond them. You know, as an artist, you know it comes in all different genres and um, categories, but at the same time, like art is just an expression again of your of yourself through your emotions, your experiences, your realities and displaying it for people to see with your talent. Man, it's been so long since I actually can think about, you know, the things that we were doing in high school, man. Ooh. One thing I would like to say is, fashion always repeats itself. So some of the things I used to do in high school, um, I see people doing it now. High school era, you know, we wore Jabos, Reeves, and Tees, and everything had to be baggy. That's, that's, that's what we rock. You know, you check the hot boys out, that's what they rock. That was, that was a new era for us. I remember color coordinating everything. Like, if you had um, the yellow and purple jersey, then your shoes had to be the white, yellow, or purple in there. Uh, I remember wristbands, colored shoestrings. Couldn't wear hats in school, so you had to be creative, wear the headbands and all that type of stuff. You know, of course, clothing was baggy, the white tees, the two for 89. Um, from high school fashion, I just remember sneakers being a big deal, as well as Ralph Lauren, polo shirts, Lacoste, all those type of collared shirts were major in high school. Kanye did have an influence on that. That's why I love Kanye. High school fashion, look back on, I was looking like, I was thinking to myself, like, we were really wearing this type of stuff. And I mean, I can't bash it because that was that time period in which I was growing up. But I look back on it and I was like, the guys that we were wearing and even the designers that we were wearing, like, they're not even really relevant of today. Not in my age range. So I knew it was one of those periods where it was just growth because a lot of the stuff I wouldn't wear now. I mean, it's cool because I know exactly what I was doing. I thought I was fly. I thought I was one of you know those cool kids that I was at, like the nice apparel. But you know, it, it was all just for you know that time period. Now I wouldn't say I could say the same for today because I understand fashion a little bit more different today. I'm class of '08. You know, I, I graduated from Hiram High School in '08, and I just remember Jabos high, Jabos pants with the straps and. You know, the, 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 the lot 29s and the academics and all of that. But one thing I do remember is like the oversized, like the big tees that the guys used to wear. I haven't seen that come back out yet, but that is one thing I do remember from high school. I remember Fila. I had a favorite pair of sneakers that were Fila sneakers. Um, let's see, my mom used to take us to JCPenney all the time. That was really the only place that I shopped when I was growing up, I think Dots. Um, now that I'm an adult, I don't even go anywhere near those stores. <laughs> but uh, that's kind of all that I mean. Um, jersey dresses. Um, hmm. The little this uh, heels that the girls used to wear that looked like Tim boots. It looked. Um, can't think of what they were called. Um, the chokers that everyone used to wear. They actually are coming back in style. Clothing wise, you know. I used to think, you know, you know everybody wears polo. 
I thought US Polo Association was real. So I had this one shirt that I used to wear in high school, you know. It's all I had I used to wash that thing repeatedly because my mama wasn't going to spend no money on nothing like that. But um, apparently it had, it was a horse and it had about five people riding on it. And it got bad for me at school. The jokes were flying. Um, I'm thinking I'm fly. Uh, apparently I wasn't. Also, I used to wear clothing from Walmart. Yes, Walmart. I said it, it doesn't bother me. Uh, had a shirt that was called Catalina. Uh, well, if you're thinking what Catalina is, Catalina is, yes it is, a salad dressing. I used to wear the salad dressing shirt to school. Um, used to come to shirt, Darrell got on the salad dressing shirt. Yeah. So my sense of fashion at an early age was not weird. I guess it is today. I'm a little bit better. I actually wear real polo now. So uh, high school for me was a safari of jokes that I uh, maneuvered through. It came out to be the person I am today. <laughs> yeah, music is definitely an art form. Just the fact that it has a process that has to be taken and steps and it has to be built. You know, it just doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, it takes a team sometimes just to get that perfect product. Right now, every, everything that you that you hear is either heavily influenced or, or or being duplicated because of a certain sound. I mean, the, the guy that's killing it right now won't be Future. Future would definitely have to be number one. I mean, and that's just for the time period right now. Um, and this is, you know, not being biased because I'm from Atlanta. It's just the truth. Like, you turn on the radio, you hear Future. You know, one in every four songs, you hear a future song, or if you, you hear somebody wanting to sound like future. Two, I would say Young Thug, another guy, you know, um, is just really influencing the sound, the culture. He, he got a young cult like following with the, 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 the guys that he has in his camp and the, the, the people that they reach out to. Three, I would say Kanye. Kanye, you know, he's a veteran in the game. He knows exactly how to manipulate the the sounds of today and captivate the guys that are really making the loudest noise and put them all in pieces and in play. Bryson Tiller, um, his sound right now is crazy. He's a new guy. He's he's the guy that's out that's um, really capturing people's attention because it's it's a, it just sounds like really honest music. And that's what's missing in today's music is people, you know, just being true to who they are and really rapping about what they feel, even though you're talking about a different subject everybody's talking about. Five, um, I know I kind of hate to put him this low. I mean, Drake is really doing his damn thing out here. And um, those five, I know if I play at any given time throughout a party, it's going to turn up. It's going to turn up. And that's just a given. No questions.